I want to mention something. Some of you are saying that maybe Kevin Hart told her not to say anything because her career is on fire right now. You know that that could be true. And maybe he maybe she wanted to say something. But when you really, really think about it, if she's truly his friend and thankful for the help that he gave her and she knew that she could rely on her black fan base, the one that really propelled her to the, the crossover status that she enjoyed, she would say, F it, I got the black community. There's more blacks that watch Tiffany Haddish than whites. This proves a point that I've been saying for a long time. We use our people to get ahead, and then when white folks discover you or get a taste of you, you get drunk off white fandom. Dr. Dre, Ice Cube, and them cats back in the day used to criticize Hammer for having a crossover appeal, but Hammer had a more more firm black base. When they kept dissing Hammer, the black base dried up because black people didn't want to be associated with a black artist that had white fans. But ironically, years later, those cats are a joint crossover success. In fact, Dr. Dre turned around and donated money to a predominantly white California university. He didn't donate no money back to the quote-unquote hood. He wasn't keeping it fucking real. Russell Simmons, who, who pimped the black community, put all that poison out, hung around a number of white folks. I'm going to meditate by Rescott. The moment the white women came out and accused him, white America turned on him. All his so-called white friends bounced. But guess what? Russell would have probably had black support if he wasn't constantly dissing black people. Remember the, um, the Harriet Tubman video? Excuse me. Remember how he rationalized so-called gangster rap, which I call idiot rap? Because no cat living large like that in the hood. Ain't no, no dude in Chicago got a pool with half naked women dancing around. Ain't nobody in South Central got a pool with half naked women laying around. Nobody in New York got a pool with half naked women laying around. A barbecue, yeah, maybe. But a pool, a pool with women hanging around doing all kinds. Well, it could be a bunch of women sitting in a house doing all kinds of God know God knows things. You know what I mean? But still, you get what I'm saying. We as black people claim that we don't need white approval, but we seek it. We do it. If Tiffany was truly a friend, she said, nah, Kevin, you apologize. Nah, Kevin, you've been you have nice. You didn't help people. You didn't donate money. Nah, Kevin, you had my back when people was criticizing me. Regardless of whoever she, she pissed off, she said, no, I'm, I'm my black audience, my black fans always been there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My back my black fans have always been there for me. But she know that the last few years she's really been pissed off. But actually the last year and a half more so than anything, she's alienated a lot of black people, which I predicted. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. That neck rolling, finger wagging, eh, 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 baby mama type person persona, it, it, it grates on people. There are a lot of black women out here who do not carry themselves that way. And I told y'all, I remember when that, that neck roll and finger wagging shit really, really went to the extreme back in the 80s. I remember, if you go back and look at episodes of the Cosby Show, Felicia was shot now, every now and then poured that shit. On Different World, they poured that shit. Go back and look at it. Go look at Family Matters when uh, Ogre and Play, Laura Winslow, they had her at the age of 12, 11, doing that you know, hand on the hip, act like she a sister girl, like she's a grown-ass woman. Now, some will argue, will argue other TV shows, but I don't remember Esther Rowe doing that. I know that you might have saw uh, Old Girl to Play with Lona back when she, before they, uh, Esther Rowe and Jan Jump on, Amos uh, left the show, she used to do that, hey, Flo, <laughs> that kind of stuff. But that was her persona. But y'all adopted it as if that's a black woman. Then I don't remember my mother ever doing that shit. I don't, I don't see her sisters doing it. Her aunts. 
I don't remember my grandmother's ever doing that shit. Tiffany is selfish, just like Oprah, just like Tyra, Wendy Williams, Robin Roberts, and many other black women out here in the media, straight or gay. If Kevin was truly your buddy, he would say, fuck that, this dude helped me when I didn't have shit. Let me tell you something. If somebody did right by me and they came under attack, I would support them. I'd say, you know what, I got your back. Now, if they did wrong, I would say, yo, man, you did. You know you fucked up, but I still got your back regardless. Now, if they commit a murder, then you, nah, I can't, I can't get around with you on that one. Because you took another life for no reason. Now, if it's self-defense, then it's different. But you get the picture. White women stand by their men through thick and thin. Don't believe me? When Stephen Collins, it came out that Stephen Collins uh, was messing with little girls. His ex-wife dropped a dam on him, right? You know how people in Hollywood got mad? Go back and look, look at Stephen Collins and, and type in, I forget his wife's name. She played in V. She was the, the white, blonde haired white woman in V. I can't think of her name right now. The original V TV series. Not the remake that aired uh, about almost 10 years ago. But um, the, the, the original. That was his wife. You know that people was mad at her? And then I remember two days later on Entertainment Tonight, uh, Donna, um, I can't think, D'Erico, I believe, that played on Baywatch, that supposed to be the Pamela Anderson uh, replacement. They thought that Stephen Collins committed suicide and they, they went to, the comments went to her house and said, oh my God, they were at Stephen's house. I hope he didn't commit suicide. It was, it was on internet. I kid you not. I'm like, it just came out in a minute to fuck with little girls, but you but you could certainly commit suicide. I kid you the fuck not. Paramount. You know, he played in the first Star Trek movie as Commander Decker, right? Even though his character was killed out of the movie, he was going to conventions. I don't know if he still go now, but he was going up to conventions for a minute. The Paramount uh, make sure that when you go out to the uh, um, the um, conventions, did they, they did they erase his 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 image? Did they say we're going to boycott Star Trek in the motion picture? Yeah, I don't know a lot of people say the movie wasn't great, but still people still watch it. There are people still buying it because it's Star Trek. They're just how Star Trek fans are. They take the good with the bad. When, when, when they took Seven Heaven off, the first thing John and Joan Q. Public read along with Hollywood said, what about the cast of Seven Heaven? What, what about them? Jessica Biel was on there. Did, did, did they say, hey, Justin, shouldn't your wife be out there speaking about it? Justin, what do you think about, about Stephen Collins? Will a black person do something, whether it touched that artist or not, they got a spouse. Hey, uh, your spouse used to work with such and such. What do you think? They quickly put Seven Heaven on. They still got it out on, on DVD. If you go to certain, go to go out to Best Buy, depending on their video section, and they 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 slowly killing their video DVD section. But some Best Buys got a DVD section still, depending on where you at. Usually more in your more predominant white neighborhoods. But on Amazon, they still selling DVDs. Ain't nobody said take that off. Because if I'm not mistaken. Aaron Spelling, there was an Aaron Spelling production, if I'm not mistaken. If it is, it's under the Paramount banner, which is Viacom, right? Which is CBS. Depending on, well, CB, CBS, Viacom, whatever, they, how they, they got it split up now. Or Paramount, how they got it split up now. But still, they they put it back on. They was concerned about the cast. When they took Cosby off, they said, fuck it, we don't give a fuck about them niggas. That's why that lie started permeating that and messed with their checks. Seven Heaven was more recent than the Cosby Show. Remember, Seven Heaven initially got canceled during the 2006 season. I remember they, when they, 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 they was getting ready to merge the WB and, U, and UPN and became the CW. And they said, nope, they brought it back. Remember, they had a reprise, but they canceled the other black shows that fit Seven Heaven in. How long ago was, was that? What? Uh, what? 11 years ago? 12 years ago, think about that for a second, folks. We do not support each other. 
Now, I know people can say, well, Harvey, look at the bigger picture. She's going to try to get all that money. Maybe she had a lady date. No, no, no. When she got on TV and said Meryl Streep, I wish she was my mama and considered, and we know she had a painful past. I'm not attacking her for that. Yeah, she got some issues, but when she said it to a white woman, I see she went to Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett is old enough to be, be her mama, okay? She went to Meryl Street. Did she start talking about what white dude she was screwed? You, how many black men did she say she wanted to screw? This chick got issues. That's why... When Beyonce was one, when you know, when Beyonce and them was all glamming her because she's the hot thing at the moment. You know how when you, you know, when somebody hot, y'all want to be seen with them. Jay Z and them, and she was in. Yeah, I was with Beyonce. Beyonce and and so now da 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 da. And what if Beyonce made a song and basically told her to shut the fuck up? Then us Beyonce's stepfather, who eventually got dissed by Beyonce's mom in public, then he make a comment about about tipping, basically talking about how tacky she was. Y'all should have known something when Tyler, I mean, not Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey start hanging on her, but you, you threw Monique under the bus? I told y'all they was going to make her out to be the next thing. See, no disrespect, to, not no beauty style to behold. I'm not saying I'm a looker. I'm not ugly, but, I, I, but I'm not, but teachers on. Leslie Jones, you couldn't market her. And they sure as fuck was going to mark Monique after she called out the hypocrisy of Hollywood in a segment of black Hollywood. So Tiffany Hash is right on time. There's been runchy comedies with comics, with black comics before, but what made her stand out? Oh, she's younger? Wait, she's fuckable? She's not an ugly looking sister by no means. But her personality is, is just fucked up. Kevin went out of his way to defend her against critics. Now, Kevin think because she's closely connected to him, that's why they attack No, Kevin, they criticized her because she's tacky. She has no tact. She has, she's, 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 she has no decorum. Now, some people say that's an act. Well, she need to change the act. She don't need to go around acting like that. I'm going to wear this dress. Okay, if you wore it, you didn't have to broadcast it. Because you out there making like black folk ain't used to shit. There have been a lot of days that a lot of black folks we wore shit multiple times, but nobody knew it. But if, unless you looked at somebody real close, and who's to say that you have multiple dresses? Yeah, she altered them and changed them for different events. But when she went on Academy Award last year wearing flip flop fur flip flops, she was tacky. And white folk ate that shit up. I remember when I when I participated in Second City in high school. Uh, what's I forget his name? The guy I knew was he played. He was a writer for um, Saturday Live. He wrote Ant Man. I can't think of his name right now. He was one of our uh, college or uh, I think he was in college at the time. He was one uh, one of our uh, instructors to teach us the, the, the time and his shit. Why well, didn't need that? It was just common sense. If you if you knew knew, knew to get a laugh, well, what happened was we did something, and I did something. There was a private joke that was among my classmates, and looking back at it, I wish I could do a duo because I did. I think I did hurt somebody feelings without realizing it, and, he, and, he, and I chalked it up to being immature. He was like, hey, Harvey, that was great. Do it again. Yeah, and, 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 and emphasize. And I thought about, like, why would you want me to emphasize this part of the joke? And I, and I had that, that epiphany, like, they wasn't really laughing at it. He was laughing at the fact I was making somebody else uncomfortable. And I knew right then and there that I didn't, I wasn't feeling it the way I, I was. I'm like, I'm not going to be used. That's why some you hear some brothers like, nah, I ain't feeling that. Like, I got issues with Dave Chappelle, but Dave Chappelle told that story of how when he was doing that movie Blue Street, they wanted him to be in a dress. He was like, Dave, Dave, it's going to be hilarious. You know, and this is going to, and he said, well, it's been done already, you know. Milton Berle and them already did, so it's, it's kind of hacked. 
And that's what Tiffany's doing. She's doing something that we saw before. And a lot of us are not comfortable with it. Not this day and age when we consider that our images are valuable. Too many young black women or women and older have bought in this image that they got to be strong and independent. And they got to be sassy. Or they got to have that mammy, mammy type role. I don't wish no, no ill will towards Tiffany Hash, but she's dangerous. Her mindset is dangerous. If Kevin is truly your, butt, your boy, and you feel it, you truly felt comfortable with the black community, the black dollar, because it was the black dollar and the black community that supported you, then you would say to hell with the gay community and that so-called liberal agenda. And I know when I say liberal agenda, some people would say, are you conservative? No, I'm not conservative. I mean, black people by nature are conservative socially, but politically, no, I'm not a conservative. I'm, I'm more middle of the road kind of dude. Live and let live within reason. But if she was truly Kevin Hart's uh, friend, she would have his back better than what she does. She'd been quiet. Sorry about that. I had to step away for a second. Um, if I repeat myself, I apologize. But my thing is, is that if Tiffany was believed in her people, her community, she would say, I ain't thinking about the gay community or other communities that tend to attack us when we start making a name for ourselves or we get comfortable. I'm not a fan of Kevin Hart. I had some issues with Kevin Hart, which I've said over the years in my commentaries. I predicted that Kevin Hart would be one of the next. Not he said, nah, he in. Nah, you never in when it comes down to white folk. And I'm not saying all whites. And I know y'all get mad at me when I say that. I'm not going to indict an entire group of people. Just like I don't want people to indict an entire group of black people. But when it comes down to white supremacy, that's a large, that's, that's, it still looms over us. It's very large. She, she, and people say, well, maybe she's silent because she's afraid. Maybe her handlers didn't, then you know, but then nobody told her to stay quiet when it came down to Monique. If Monique and them didn't do shit to her, she didn't bite her tongue about that. When it came down to Bill Cosby, she, she said something. They came at her within an hour. She, she, black, she backflipped. That tells you that we got a group of Negroes that are, are scary. This is why I stated that, hot, that the black entertainers are chosen. They know who to go after. They know who's weak, the weakest link. Now, I know some of y'all say, Harvey, y'all expect black celebrities? Yeah, and the way you do expect them to, to stay some because they say everything else. They have no problem getting in front of people criticizing us and throwing us under the bus. They have no problem exit for our support. So, yeah, we should say, yo, man, you remember, we help make your ass. And then you're going to go out here and speak in absolutes about us? You're going to get in mixed company and throw us under the bus. But then when you get in trouble, you want to be black, black all of a sudden. Oprah Winfrey, if it wasn't for black chi Chicago, black viewers, y'all, nobody would never know who Oprah Winfrey is. I guarantee she would have faded away years ago like so many other black reporters uh, and news anchors that, that, that was regional. If black men and women and children didn't watch her show, Back in the, oh, excuse me, watch A of Chicago, because that's what the show originally was called. It was produced at WLS Studios, right off State and Lake. If it wasn't for us watching her show, she wouldn't be open with it. When it came time for the Rhino show now, she did a show at the United Center. She bounced and then turned around and gave negative interviews, but she already did about Chicago. She has nothing to do with this city. When all the shit was going down, she repeated the stereotype. Like, you lived it. You know damn well how Chicago get down. She never endorsed a local black politician. But Barack Obama come along. Uh, my name's Barack Obama. Uh, my father's from Kenya. Uh, my mother's from Kansas. I uh, grew up in uh, Hawaii. And Michelle, Sasha, and, and Melina. All of a sudden, Oprah goes for, she goes for light skin or biracial blacks. Remember how she ran for Cory Booker? She ran down south to support that sister. She would have never supported that sister if, if, if white folk wasn't, wasn't, wasn't riding her. 
Oh my gosh, she she's like she's gonna be the first black female oh, governor in the United States. She like she has a chance to win and open going to knock on doors and shit. You have Gail King on, on CBS dicking a pussy. Ah, nah, nah, ah. The moment she lost, you ain't seen Oprah nowhere. Crickets like a motherfucker. It was a school in Detroit, a, a school that dealt with teen mothers and, sh and shit, mothers who dropped, teen girls who dropped out of school because of their financial situation. It was, it, they was going to close it down. They was going to defund it, close it down. Rachel Maddow, a white lesbian, took it as her, her cost to help raise money. But y'all gonna say Oprah will to open the school. But Lawrence O'Donnell said they need desks to sit on. Oprah does shit that make white people say, oh my gosh, isn't she nice? Oprah's gonna make us rich. Cindy had, oh, she cried to Oprah. I'm not an Oprah. She was on Ellen crying, Mama Ellen. And I'm sitting up there like, oh my gosh. Those are the Negroes that have betrayed our people. Those are the Negroes who have made, have helped commit, commit um, what's the word I'm looking for? Perpetuate a sense of apathy in our community. This is why a lot of black folks have given up and just given in and said, well, you know, they ain't going to do nothing for us. Nothing going to change. Why, why fight it? She making, she making millions of dollars doing it. I'm going to do the same thing. That's why you see so many sisters running around with blonde hair, injecting their ass, rip, with fix and flat and shit, acting all raunchy, taking risks that they were never done because they see it works for a certain group of people. Black men included, but I've always talked about brothers who've done that. But we need to focus on our women because these are the first teachers of the child. These are the strong. These are the independent. These are the backbone of our community. So if she had any backbone, she would say, I got my boy's back. But then again, maybe she never did have his back. Maybe she that's not her boy. Maybe she just said that in case something happened and she got a fall back. But I had warned y'all a long time ago. I said they only gonna they already pulled pull it out to shut everybody up because they make Monique look like a fool. I wasn't buying it then, I'm not buying it now. I said, you mean to tell me everybody loves her, ratchet, they think this sister girl act that she got? This is not the true definition of a black woman. Black women carry themselves with dignity and class, not a hood rat. Yeah, I know she had a rough life, but there are a lot of people that have rough lives and came from even worse conditions she come from, and they don't carry themselves their way, and they don't go around, my story, it begins like this. Most people say, I'm going to keep that part of my life private and share that with my closest friends or my spouse or my children. Not going out there saying in the Meryl Street, I wish you was my mama. Not out there chasing out the Brad Pitt and these other dudes, and Brad Pitt like, <laughs> <laughs> if she was truly Kevin Hart's uh, 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 a friend, she would have said to hell with these attacks. But then again, did she throw Bill Cosby, one of her elders, under the bus because white women deemed so? And then a year later, Bill Cosby is in jail, but to all the white men that they was talking about, none of them is in jail. So how is this bashing on black women or this particular black woman? This is not bashing. This is pointing out facts. And once again, I can say, I told you so. I told you so.